Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. Well, they're glad to have him in the lineup today, aren't they? They wouldn't want to miss out on his talents, Milan. It's his long shots that have impressed me because he's not always the most powerful of strikers, but he's got great accuracy on those. This is the lineup for the home side. We've got it down as a 4 3 3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time i think really they invented it and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since if it works it's it's really uh, tough to handle well the supporters here they expect a certain type of football don't they an intricate game really yes and uh, for the opposition i mean it can be incredibly frustrating just trying to get the ball back you've got to work really hard and uh, once you do you want to make sure you don't give it away because you might not see it again for two or three minutes san milano is the official today and it's Milan getting us underway. It's Romagnoli. And he's aimed for the far post here. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. And it's Milan trying to attack now. Oh, chance! Adrian Stoyan. Trying to divert it in. Terrific stop. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Opportunity here. Off the post. Well, we're halfway through. And we haven't yet got a goal. Milan, clever ball, and it's a shot now, that's a terrific goal to put them in front. Well, they all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so, but uh, he was there, right place, right time. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Well, Milan, as expected, have taken the lead. Jeff Shreve just keeping us right up to date there. Alessandro Florenzi, far too close, the cross to the keeper. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Is a free kick, and uh, they're excited by this. It's a real these days going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, he's dived in, it's a reckless one. That's hit the bar, and it's still in play. Conte. taking it away, and he's got a chance. And it's a shot now! That's a brilliant goal! It's the substitute who scored, 
That's a terrific effort by him and by the manager who sent him off. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. And in it goes towards the far post. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Well, that is the final whistle. It's all square. Everybody, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith welcoming you to this big game today. And our match today is Milan and they will play against Cagliari. Second game of the season and there's no love lost between this pair. A lot of history down the years and uh, there might be one or two sparks flying here. We're looking for energy in midfield, which I think the manager is, from what we've been talking to him about. And uh, a new signing today with that in mind, I guess. Yeah, I thought they'd looked a bit short, a bit flat, actually, in midfield previously. And he is a creative player as well. This is the Milan lineup. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Leonardo Bonucci starts alongside Alessio Romagnoli in the heart of defence. Giacomo Bonaventura starts alongside Lucas Piglia in the middle of the park. And today, it's just the one striker in the side. There have been some negative comments, haven't there, Alan, about the way this team defends. Do you see them as a very negative side? Well, they can be, uh, and I don't expect things to change today because they have achieved results off the back of it. Defend deep, defend in numbers, and uh, difficult to break down. Milan trying to get back to winning ways after their draw. An away draw against Protone. Yeah, it was an entertaining 1-1, one, one, actually. Might be a bit more exciting. Bit of space to go. And here's the shot. Plenty of power, but not too a real chance here that is the first goal and it could be the one that actually shapes the destiny of the day well, they all count the same but he won't ever get an easier one no i don't think so but uh, he was there right place right time and here's the goal again He works hard on his team. A quick break. Oh, time to get the cross now. Very straightforward piece. That will be a corner. Corner played into the middle. That's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Bonaventura. And that's the half 
half-time whistle from the referee. One-one at the break. Good deep cross towards the far post. Defended well. Alessandro Florenzi. Keeper's ball. No question about that. It's a weak cross, really. A big goal that might turn out to be. He can't have scored many better than this with the bendies imparted onto the ball. I'll give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. So it's Milan with the lead. Marco Andreoli. All sorts of things to sort out, but sounds he's in here. It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. It was a move to make your mouth water. Great goal. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. And look at the players, delighted with it. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. We won the scoreline as we restart the game. Castan. Real chance. It's a corner for Milan. Bonaventura's corner. It's under hit the corner and the man at the front post gets it away. In the nick of time. Now he can cross it. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Bale. Nodded back across. And it's come to an end.